Sunny 16 rule. And the Sunny 16 rule only works when you're outdoors uh, because when you're indoor shooting, there are so many different variables, different types of light and the wattages that it's going to be really impossible to always have um, set settings that are going to work every time, unless it's a situation you're always shooting in and you start to learn what it's going to be. But outdoors, we have the sun as our primary uh, light source, which doesn't really change. Okay, um, So the Sunny 16, F16 rule states that if you set your aperture to F16, and then you match your shutter speed to your ISO, such as 1 one hundredth of a second to ISO 100, you'll get a pretty good exposure. Now, let's go ahead and try this over here. So I'm going to set this to sunny. And I'm going to set my ISO down to 100, my shutter speed up to one hundredth of a second, my aperture to F16, and the meter shows that we are right on target. Take a photo, and hey, we're good. Now this is a great starting starting place if you don't know what your settings should be, but then you can um, change your settings to really creatively show what you want to do. And what I mean is in this situation, maybe I want to go ahead and have a more blurry background. So if that's the case, I want my aperture to be a lot larger so I have a shallow depth of field. And so for every step that I take for my aperture, I need to go ahead, okay, so every step I take with my aperture opening up, and letting more light in, I need to take my shutter speed uh, faster to let less light in, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to count how many spaces I go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? To get to an f2.8, which is a large aperture, and so I have a very shallow depth of field. But now you can say, see that I'm way overexposed, okay? I have a completely bright white photo that's not going to work. Now if I go ahead and take my shutter speed faster, so I'm now I'm letting in less light, I can go ahead and balance it back out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, but I don't have, I can't go any faster, and I'm still overexposed a little bit, so I'm going to take my aperture... I'm going to close down just a bit to 3.2, and now we're right back on target, and I can take the photo. Bam. So it's a great starting place if you're not sure where to uh, start when you're shooting outdoors. And this works pretty well in all of these different lighting conditions. It'd be the same thing, um, 1 one hundredth at ISO 100. You could do 1 four hundredth of a second at ISO 400, 1 eight hundredth of a second at ISO 800. That part doesn't matter as long as they are matching with each other. And then depending on the outdoor lighting conditions, you can go with dusk where you have the f2.8 because it's a lot darker. You need to open up. f4, sunset shade. f5.6 for overcast. 8 for cloudy. f11, lightly cloudy. f16, back for sun. And when it's really bright, you have snow or sand uh, reflecting a bunch of the sun up. f22. And that's it.